Hello again, this is Sickle Yield, and I'm here to talk to you about the Canvas system in Daz Studio. Now, you don't have to use canvases to get a good render, but it does give you a lot of options that I find to be important. And I've just learned this technique recently from Dimension Theory, so I thought I would share it with all of you with his permission, because it's really improved the quality of my promotional renders. So, you got your render completely lit and composed, that's important because adding lighting to your scene causes Daz Studio to delete all of your canvases. I don't know why, it's very irritating, but it does do that. So I'm going to go to Advanced under the Render Settings tab. If you don't have a Render Settings tab, you can right-click over by any of the other tabs and choose Add Pane Tab and choose it from the list. So here I have my Advanced Render Settings. Make sure you have OptiX Prime Acceleration checked if you've got an NVIDIA card which if you're rendering with iRay, I sincerely hope that you do. With canvases, you have the second tab right here. Canvases. I have four canvases set up here. And you add those just by hitting this, this plus sign. Beauty is the default one. So when I add four canvases, it sets them all up as beauty canvases initially. And that's fine. I'll just leave the first one at that. And then on the second one, I'm going to change it to Emission. This will put the light from my lamp here, which is emissive, on a separate canvas so that I can composite it into the scene separately. The third one, I'm going to put Light Group. The purpose of this canvas is to composite in the lights from my scene other than the environment light. And I'm going to do the environment light on a fourth canvas for environment lighting. There are other options here, including depth. The depth canvas determines where the focus is in your scene. I Let me check if I use depth of field in this scene at all. I think I may have only used the lighting to distinguish foreground from background here, but let me check. Depth of field is on, so I'll go ahead and do a depth canvas as well. And that's my canvases, so I'm ready to start the render. Before I do that, I'm going to make a much smaller version of this. Just 1300 by 1000. Before I do that, I would like to talk about EXR files, because the canvases are going to render to EXR in a subfolder of the folder that I have set up for this to render to. My canvas is in night lighting folder. They're going to be in a subfolder that is the name of this render. So to open those EXR files, you need usually a plugin. I believe there's one for Photoshop. There is also one for the GIMP, which is free. And it is on GitHub. To use that, you also need a couple of other files, which the GitHub entry will tell you, and I will link that from this video's description. I mentioned the GIMP one not because it works better than anything else, but because it is free. So if you're working with no budget, trying to get your first product out there, for example, and get income from that product before you start buying software or hardware, the GIMP one is free. You can use it for free. I actually use it a lot, even though I also have another program called Affinity Photo, which also processes EXRs but does them much better than GIMP does. But Affinity Photo costs $50. Now don't get me wrong, I still highly recommend it if you have the budget for it. But today I'll be using the GIMP to demonstrate how to use the free feature. So with that said, I'm going to hit render and I'm going to cut and come back when the render is finished. All right, I'm back. What happened was the Daz Studio ran for an hour and then it crashed without allowing me to save the render. So I'm going to use a previous draft instead, so you can still see the process here. I've opened it in the GIMP. You can use any of your 2D programs here as long as they are able to open EXR files. So there's my base render. And then here's the canvases folder, which is saved in the same place as the render. So I've got that in here. And I've got the Beauty, Light Group, and Depth canvases here originally. I'm just going to open each of those. Uh, 
you can see that those are pretty well whited out. And the reason for that is that they're very overexposed. So I can actually change the exposure here under colors and exposure in the latest version of GIMP. So if you don't have the version that has this, I suggest updating when you can. And I'm going to not actually turn this down below about 12 in this case, because the purpose of this one isn't to look great. It's to use lighting. This is the light group one. And I've got the depth one here. And the depth canvas looks a little different. It is blackened white and shades of gray, where pure white is completely blurry and pure black is completely solid. So completely clear. So I'm going to use exposure there, but I'm also going to use brightness and contrast because I want a very blurry background and a pretty sharp foreground here. And it's hard to get that exact effect with just the exposure. So there's my depth. And then here's the beauty canvas. The beauty canvas is the real reason to bother with the canvas system to begin with, because generally it's going to end up looking better than my original render. And I will put them one over the other here momentarily so that you can compare. There's often a problem in DAS Studio where the render comes out looking more dull and dark than you want and than it looked in the viewport. So I'm going to put the beauty canvas on a second layer here. Just paste it in. Control C, Control V. And there's the beauty canvas. You can see it seems to have more depth of color. It's not really an HDR image, I don't think, because I don't think that the way that GIMP can open EXRs allows for that. But at least it, it feels richer and more vivid than the default render. So I'm going to create new layers for environment. And let's see. I don't think I have environment lighting on this, actually. So that'll just be the light group. So I'm going to duplicate the beauty canvas here so that I can use my depth map. And I'm going to add a layer mask. That is, it doesn't matter what it is, I'm just going to paste in the depth map. So I'm going to copy this and paste it again into my new layer. Control C, Control V. And that doesn't look any different yet, but I, what I'm going to do is make sure that I've selected that layer that has the mask on it. And I'm going to use a Gaussian blur filter. And a pretty significant blur, up to like 25. There we go. And now I can turn that off, turn it on, and you can see the difference in blur. You can also see that there's a bit of a halo around the character because of the amount of blur that there was. If I undo that, I can get less of a halo effect by using a smaller amount of blur. Like if I just use a blur of like 9, I only get a very slight haloing around the figure. But the degree to which you blur that can also control how much you have a bloom effect if you don't have time to do a bloom in the actual render itself. Now the light group layer, I can copy this light group canvas onto after I've corrected its exposure. I'm just going to set that layer to soft light and a very small opacity. And the purpose of that is that it sort of strengthens or exaggerates the degree of my lights. It makes things both brighter and darker here based on where the light does and doesn't fall. So you can also control how much that affects this or not. If I turn it all the way up, you see a really strong effect of that light and not of any of the other lights. And I don't really want that. I just want to enhance that light a little bit. So I've got that opacity at like 14%, but the amount at which I do that will vary render by render. If I had an environment canvas, which in this case I do not, I would do the same thing with it. I would create another layer and add it and put it at probably soft light and just a low percentage to reflect the amount of environmental light. Now the other thing that I would have done that I now can't do because it didn't save the canvases out is there would be another canvas here called emissive and it would look like a black sheet with colored splotches on it for my emissive lights. And I'm going to have to just manually paint one here because one didn't get rendered out. 
So, but what would happen in that case is I would have a black thing and then a white or colorful thing, depending on the color of the light. And it would come up looking something like this, because I've only got one emissive light in my scene. So in that case, I'm going to go with colors and color to alpha, and I'm going to choose the color just pure black, which is the HTML notation is three, six zeros there. And that will render my layer as just a colored blot or white blot representing my light. And I can use that opaquely, or I can use a soft light on it as well. You can see that my lamp light got blacked out in the final render. The canvas system doesn't really like emissive lights. So if you want to use emissives, you're probably going to have to use an emissive canvas option if there are emissive lights in the scene. So there's that. So here is my composited canvas render. And I'll just save that as test here. And now I've got a render that has so much more going on than the original. I will compare them side by side here. Okay. So there's my original image that rendered out. And here is my composited image from canvases. If you look at renders that are professional promos and you see how does it have that not quite HDR like but deeper, more glowing effect, the reason is probably that it was made with canvases. And a lot of us don't even count this as post work. Technically it is, but you're not, I'm not painting on it with brushes. I'm not adding effects that didn't come from the program. All of the effects that I've used here came from the program. I've just composited them together in this program, in the GIMP. So that's how you use the Canvas system. At least it is to the best of my knowledge. I'm still pretty new to it myself, so if I've made mistakes, feel free to let me know in the comments and I will try to update the video. Thank you for watching and happy rendering.